punch it. We're not teaching violence. Yes, we are. Luca, if a monkey attacks you, punch it in the face. Hello and welcome to another video and I've just got out of work and I'm going to kick today's video off in the most exciting way possible. That's right, a trip to the dentist. Um, and that is linked with the title of the video. Basically, if you are bulking on 6,000 calories a day and doing things like a 20,000 calorie challenge, that is obviously not gonna be good for your teeth. And so I'm partially paying for that now. Um, anyway, with the fact that I have to go to the dentist, there is only one thing that I need to do first. That's pretty standard, right? Everyone does that. Like before you go to the dentist, you brush your teeth for like an abnormally long period of time. And with that said, if that is the first time you've seen a YouTuber brush his teeth in a video, please give this video a like. Um, and if it's not the first time you've seen a YouTuber brush his teeth in a video, who the hell are you watching on YouTube? Anyway, I'm gonna go now, so I'll catch up with you afterwards. I'm out and my mouth is numb. Joking, it's final. They did actually inject me in that side of my mouth, so I can't really use it. Um, and I'm struggling to pronounce my S's. And anytime I drink, the water just cascades down my face. That's always good. Um, I was in there for freaking ages. Like, I was going to film it and do like a time lapse. And then I thought, I'm not freaking filming myself in the dentist. Like, that's ridiculous. Who wants to see that? Um, but basically, they were preparing my tooth for a, um, a crown. Um, they put like a temporary thing on it and I'm going to go back in two weeks and get the crown fitted. Um, okay, that's enough dentist talk for now. I'm sat outside the gym. I'm going to go in and do some squats, some deadlifts, really light, and then some um, hypertrophy. Uh, and then I'm going to go in and get some food because I'm already freaking hungry, so that isn't good, is it? done um, that was chocolate smooth way with water pretty standard i also have um, two of these which is like a tangy apple fruit and grain bar it's like a i don't know it's hard to explain it's kind of like what you imagine uh you'd feed to like a bird but i'm eating it uh it's basically a copy of a neutral game bar and i only had them because they were left in my bag um i'm gonna have this then i'm gonna go home and get something a little bit more substantial home for training and i'm hungry so i'm gonna eat i've got uh, a snack lineup consisting of the following some cheese curls they are just all version of uh quavers and they're literally about one calorie per pack but they're nice so i got them I'm going through like a retro crisp phase like i had skips last week now i'm going for quavers so i keep mixing it up that's the week's gone also been eating some of these bad boys they're just jaffa cakes all these versions of jaffa cakes but they're really good like for bulking they're awesome because like one jaffa cake is about 50 calories and you can eat i mean i've eaten like the whole thing of these you can eat those really really easy you can get like an easy 500 calories pretty effortlessly and then the final and best piece of the jigsaw is this now i wanted to talk about this specifically because it's freaking awesome so this is a my protein baked cookie now you may remember a while ago uh my protein sent me some of their regular protein cookies and i mean i'm always quite honest like they weren't the best they were okay like as far as a protein snack goes but as a regular cookie they honestly weren't very nice i would not really recommend them however these are the new ones now when they sent me these my initial reaction was 
why have you sent me those? I'm not going to eat them. But uh, Sarah's bullied me into trying them, and they are genuinely really good. Like, they taste like a natural cookie. Like, if I had this, if I brought this as a natural cookie, I would gladly eat it. Like, they're honestly really nice. Like, the macros, I'll try and get it to focus on there. There's not like an insane amount of protein. I think it's like 13 or 12 grams per cookie. Um, but the macros are pretty decent. And like I said, the main thing is, bear in mind that it's a protein cookie, like they're honestly really nice. So definitely recommend them. And if you're gonna get them, obviously use the My Protein link in my description. Anyway, I wanted to, while I'm standing up and in the zone, I wanted to quickly talk, take this opportunity to talk to you about the theme of the video, the video title. And that is the fact that my diet is freaking hard work. It freaking sucks. So when I tell people that I'm bulking and that I'm eating 6,000 calories a day, everyone's automatic like reaction to that is oh my god that's the best thing ever like you must be loving life and the truth is i'm really not like it really isn't great it, uh, the majority of the time it friggin sucks like there is the odd occasion where you know i feel like eating pizza and it's good to know that i can eat what i want and it's fine but for the vast vast majority of the time it is really really hard work and a lot of the time i pretty much hate it like it's got to the point now where I really don't like food that much. Like sometimes I'll crave something and it's good that I can eat it. And sometimes I'm hungry and it's good that I can eat it. But a lot of the time I'm eating because I have to. And the issue with that is, you know, anything that you have to do, anything that you're forced to do after a while becomes a chore and it's no longer enjoyable. You know, like you might have a new job and it's all exciting, but after a while, after the novelty wears off, the fact that you have to keep doing it just kind of takes the fun element out of it. And that is exactly the same in my bulk. So don't assume that a bulk is like the best thing ever because you know for some people it is but for a lot of people it's really really hard work and it for me it's basically become a job like having to eat all the time the problem is is that your body is designed uh, to adapt it's also designed to to want things that you can't have right so if you are cutting the thought of having donuts is like the best thing ever i remember when i used to do athletics and i had to lose weight and I couldn't eat any crap, like I would literally go to bed dreaming of donuts, right? Which sounds insane, but I, like, I wanted them so much. Now, I don't really care, like, you know, I can eat what I want, and suddenly, because I can eat what I want, it's no longer that crazy thing that I'm really, really craving, it's just like another thing and it's no longer fun. So like I said, apart from the odd occasion where it's fun, the majority of the time, it is freaking hard work. And quite frankly, I am really looking forward to a point in the future when I can cut and I can no longer be forcing myself to eat all the time because it freaking sucks. Um, in terms of cutting, like I do have a rough plan. I'm thinking provisionally, I'm in my training cycle now. I'm gonna test in probably three, four weeks, and then we're going on holiday, right? I'll talk more about that in a later video, but when I test, I've got some numbers in mind that I wanna hit. I wanna try and get a 1,700 pound total, and I think it's realistic. If I hit that total, I'll be pretty satisfied for the moment in time, and I may well run a cut from that point on, which will be, I mean, it will be new territory, but I'm pretty excited because it will just mean, like I said, I don't have to keep forcing myself to eat. And I think it will reset my mindset and my approach to food because at the moment, I'm not getting full, but it's my gag reflex. Like, I feel sick. So I'll eat a massive meal and I'll get like three quarters of the way through and I'm not full up. I feel fine. I can keep eating, but it's, I feel sick. I feel physically like I'm going to be sick. And there have been numerous occasions during this bulk where I've physically been sick. I've actually thrown up. And people are like, what are you doing? But it's just my mindset and my obviously... My psychological approach to food has been pretty messed up, so I am looking forward to cutting and hopefully it will happen soon. But with that said, I'm gonna eat this because it is freaking awesome. Like I said, definitely recommend them. Um, I'll do this, go and hang out with Luca, and then probably start planning dinner. Bloody monkey. Punch it. Punch it. We're not teaching him violence. Yes, we are. Luca, if a monkey attacks you, punch it in the face. Right, Luca's dinner is done. That was baby rice. He, I'll clean him up, but he was literally covered in it. Um, he's wearing a nap, by the way. He's not naked. That would be pretty weird. Um, so, the plan is we're going to get him showered, get me showered, uh, Sarah showered, and then he'll go to bed and we'll start having dinner. So, what we're having is as follows. Uh, I, say it, I say it all the time. We basically, we... Uh, make meals and freeze them up. So Sarah's made this. It's like a Thai green curry. She made it a while ago. It's been in the freezer. So we're defrosting it as we speak. And then we're going to cook that up with some rice, uh, probably some naams, and that'll be our dinner. So we'll do all the shower duties, get Luca in bed, and then come down and get that going. So I'm going to talk you through my setup. First things first, I have uh, the greatest drink in the world that's not a real drink. 
that is fizzy water, and I've added to it. So these bad boys are like cherry cola flavored, uh, flavor drop things from my protein. They're freaking awesome. There's loads of different options. Uh, some of them are good. This one is particularly good because it makes your drink taste like cherry cola. Now, I will say, it says 20 servings on there. I've used probably like a quarter of this, but it has a massive glass, so swings around about. Um, also have some prawn crackers here. And essential, they complement to any oriental food. Can I describe that as oriental? You just, just did. did. Um, and then, the curry's over there because in my rice, um, I'm gonna add something to it using uh, the assistance of my good friend, Paul. Paul's, he's got a face. That says his idea, by the way. Um, so what I'm gonna do, this is a brilliant bulking tip, right? If you wanna get more calories in, and you are struggling to get them in, like I am, get, oh my God, that's quite extreme. Get a big old spoon of coconut oil. That is probably about 300 calories right there, maybe even 400. Whack it in, uh, it will melt to speed up the melting process. No, um, no, stir it first. Like, otherwise you're just gonna literally be eating a lump of that. It's just gonna take me three ages. It's not, it's not even that hot anymore. I know it's quite hot actually. So in the old days when I used to add this to my protein shake, I would uh, microwave the milk and then put the coconut oil in and it would literally melt immediately. The, the, the error I made when I first did that is that I'd uh, melt the coconut oil and then add it to cold milk and it would just solidify straight away. So basically if the coconut oil is at room temperature or colder, it would just go hard. So you've got to put it in like really hot stuff. It is basically melted now, so look how friggin' like oily that rice is now mega calorific oh yeah i don't think describing your rice as oily is like well, i don't know like yeah like special fried rice is oily it's awesome right i'd go for co now. coconutty oily greasy <laughs> uh whoa hurry up you gonna leave me some and that my friends it's going to be my meal for this evening. It's awesome, it's friggin' calorific, and quite frankly, I'm very excited. That was a good curry. Um, it's funny though, you could definitely tell the coconut oil was in the rice. Like, ordinarily I can eat rice really, really fast, but with that, got like three quarters of the way through, and my body was like, hmm, this is not normal rice. Kind of could detect the added fat there, but got it done, good calories, um, and it was a nice meal. I'm now having, whoa, uh, banana and a few cashews, just for some extra bonus cows, a bit of protein. I'll have um, some whey with some creatine in a bit, but first we're gonna go and watch uh, Catastrophe. So I'm still kind of, I'll be honest, I'm still kind of recovering from Taboo finishing. Taboo is the best thing ever with Tom Hardy in, um, and I feel like no series is gonna compare to that, but we watched uh, a series called Catastrophe. I think we watched two series of it a while ago, and there's a new season that's just come out. It's on 4OD, so recommend it. It's pretty funny. It's just like an American guy an English woman and they get pregnant by accident and it's just like how their life unfolds, it's pretty funny, it's definitely worth a watch. So I'm gonna go and watch that and that is how I'm gonna end the video, my friends. So I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.